hate to bring it to most people that Greta Gerwig's soon-to-be award-winning a motion picture show Barbie, based on the doll, uh, is an authentic artification, which that's what she says, based on about 30 movies. Now, if you can believe that, well, you can believe Greta Gerwig on that because she's the the horse's mouth. As they say, it's an expression. It means the person who knows. Uh, now, she says one is singing in the rain. Anybody who's ever seen a movie of a musical movie has got to know Singing in the Rain with um, uh, she, Deb, Debbie Reynolds. That's she says Knockout and uh, Bing. I think it's Bing Crosby and and anyway, it it is astonishing. Donald J. O'Connor and uh, they sing. It rains. It's just it's got everything you'd ever want. But the second most that's really good for children as well as adults is the Wizard of Oz. Now this is about a road and, and a little girl whose house has been destroyed by a tornado and, and she's got to go somewhere else to live. She doesn't want to be homeless so she just starts walking and she finds this place called Oz and finds out there's a whole lot going on that you don't know about. And I shouldn't do any uh, spoiler alerts on that because it will get lost on it. Uh, the second one is the Red Shoes. Third, the third one is the red shoes, and it's about some shoes that are red, and sh uh, the shoes are connected to the legs of a dancer, and she's really good. Um, then uh, the same people made that movie, made a movie called Heaven Can Wait, and it's not what you think, it's not a religious movie, it's about actually having to learn how to wait. Um, then uh, Gene Kelly is so good, he did a movie called An American in Paris, so it's just about him, but he was a man in Paris, and he was an American, and he dances, he sings. Uh, he falls in love, he has tragedy, he has r romance, he has all of it. And uh, we'll be back with the rest of the, right after this message. We're here because nobody has been able to step forward and bring you how, how important this story is to Hollywood, California. The, uh, Greta Gerwig, who made the movie, the pink movie, uh, called Barbie, starring Ken, uh, it... It's been an authentic uh, artific artificiality, and it's a setup for a whole bunch of awards when they, they have the Oscars and the Tonys and the uh, La Russas and all the awards there are for good acting, but just also great, great, great musicals. And so uh, I want to get to this list because a lot of people don't know these movies, and it's hard to get through them. It's a big list. Uh, first is Singing in the Rain, which is made... Um, in the rain, it's some people who sing and they dance in the rain without falling down. It's really spectacular when you watch it up and down off the sidewalk and it's all over the place. It's Gene Kelly and uh, some other actors and it's really good. It's right at the top of the list, right above Wizard of Oz, which is about a road that's yellow and a tornado and a girl who's uh, unhoused who needs to go on a... Uh, a tour, and uh, she does that, and then she finds the next movie, which is called The Red Shoes, which is an occupation for people who have really, really sore feet. It's the people, bless their hearts, who are dancers, professional dancers, and they, their feet hurt all the time. They should get some better shoes. Uh, Ma uh, Heaven Can Wait is another one of them movies, and it's about uh, it's not as religious as it sounds, and you don't have to wait as long for it. It's only like a couple hours long. Uh, An American in Paris, though, is another one like that, Singing in the Rain. It's Gene Kelly. Uh, he's in the American. This time he's in Paris. He's a painter. He's uh, al fresco and try can't make a living and finds a girl. And, well, there's romance and there's, you know, unromance. It, it's, uh, it's a fun movie. Uh, Umbrellas of Cherbourg is an even more fun movie because they take the colors of the world. These are French people who do this. Take the colors of the world and exaggerate them out so that when you're looking at everything, it's just not the same. as It's exaggerated. And then the people, when they move, they just like they move without their feet moving. They just slide across and just slide in and out of the... It's really something else. And then uh, Model Shop, that's a Jacques Demy movie, and it's set in America, which is really good because it's a French movie made in America. Everybody talks about that. And Oklahoma is not about the football team, which is always usually pretty good. It, this is about the state as, as a musical, when they made a musical, and they got, oh, and it's a really... 
It's got it's good, and all that jazz is another one right after that where it's set in I think Chicago. <laughs> but now. This is the longest title on the whole list. It's called Women on the Verge of a Nervous Breakdown, and it's Spanish. And so when they talk, they talk really, really fast, and and they punctuate. But there's a woman in here with a broken nose, and she's just terrific. Uh, and then right after that is 2001 Space Odyssey. That's a m movie that uh, Barbie was based on when they come down from the spaceship. Uh, and it's not on the list here, but we got to ask the question, if E.T.'s coming from an advanced civilization... Nobody asked this question. We've got to know this. How come he didn't have a proper smartphone on him? I mean, you know, E.T. phone home. He's got to use somebody else's phone. Come on. Anyway, I, his girl Friday is about a newspaper and a murder and, you know, trial and everything that. And the Philadelphia story is about, well, Philadelphia. And, but the gold diggers of 1935, boy, that's about some women who are looking for money. They don't, it's not gold, it's money they're talking about. And 20th century is like a hilarious train trip with... Carol Lombard and John Barrymore. There's a lot of Barrymores, and it's, but it's John Barrymore. And then, uh, no, I'm not going to say that. That's a Jerry Lewis movie, but Rear Window, that is. Huh? Arnold Hitchcock, that's very scary. It's like, well, the man's in a wheelchair with his leg all messed up, and so he's looking out a window all the time. Uh, Fellini's got a movie, and hey, the ship sails on. It's about, well, they didn't even get on water. It's pretend. It's like Visqueen. They make it look like water. It's really amazing. Uh, Wings of the Czar, you know, that's a German movie. The guy's really up there on top of a church, can't get off. Um, Close Encounters of Third Kind's another one of these space movies, but it's set out there in North Dakota, and nobody cares, so, you know, take a long time to get out there. The movie's a, probably eight hours long, I think, so. Anyway, <clears throat> Pee Wee's Big Adventure, now that's a movie, and that's not the one with the bicycle, That's and it's not the one with the, it is the one with the bicycle, it's not the one with the circus. And uh, everybody has to see that because uh, Pee Wee passed away last year. That's a big, big um, loss to the uh, comedy community of the world. And uh, but Pee Wee Herman, so that's his best movie. He has a couple of movies. Grease, that's the movie about of, of the dance, and they uh, it's Grease Monkeys. A Truman Show. Now that's really interesting because that's got uh, that character who's uh, uh, changes his face all the time. He used to be on TV, and he's thinks he's trapped inside it. When he it turns out. I mean, spoiler alert, he's, he is trapped inside. Uh, Mon Uncle, that's a French movie, and that's dang funny. That's Jacques Tati, and he's got another one called Playtime. That's just really almost almost, almost as funny as Mon Uncle. Mon Uncle's got kids in it. A Splash is a movie about a mermaid who's living in, off of New York in the water there. And the last one is called Saturday Night Fever, and it's not what you think it's about. Not about doctors and nurses. It's about some kids at a high school, and they just like to dance a lot, and they got a lot of energy, and their football team wasn't that good, and now their athletic program, they don't have an athletic director, he left, and dr drama teacher's the best thing they got, so they got them all dancing. So anyway, that's the total list, that's Greta Gerwig's authentic list to the, what made Barbie a great movie, and so if you see these, and then you see Barbie, well you see that's how they got everything about Barbie, except for the part about the pink. <laughs>